Um, I'm here with Liam, Liam Anderson from Redwood High School, who was second in the boys' individual sweepstakes race for Divisions 1 and 2 with a time of 14.51. Liam, first of all, congratulations. Talk Thank about you. your time and the course in the race. I had a fun time. Uh, I'm glad with, I'm happy with my time. I'm happy with how I did. Uh, it was nice to be back outside and get down here and hit some hills and yeah. Yeah, can you elaborate a little bit on that? Are you talking about the air quality? Of, you know? Yeah, we've been on treadmills for a week and a half, two weeks now up in Northern California. Uh, so it's nice. We only had two days outside up north and then we came down here. So it's nice to be back outside with some blue skies and some clean air. Sure, sure. Um, what effect did you feel on while you were out on the course today from that ch change in your, in your normal training? Ah, uh, my legs feel good. It was, I mean, it's just a transition. Yeah. It's not, you know, it's not, I'm not injured from running on a treadmill. It's just a, it was going on and then coming off and then, um, just kind of getting used to the ground moving around with you and all that. So I didn't have much of an effect on my race. It's just a, a mentality thing. Is that the only effect that, that, that you and your school is feeling from the, from the fires? Or um, is there more? I'm part of my, sheriff, my Marin County Sheriff's Office search and rescue team, and we've been sending a team up to Santa Rosa every day to uh, search the ruins to locate um, people's remains so seeing a lot of that um, and helping raise money and you know knowing people who've lost their houses or you know they have family who um, were lost in the fire and it's you know everyone's kind of it sets kind of a somber mood around school and you know we had school was closed because there's teachers who lost their homes um, so everyone's just being very uh, there's an outpour of support to Santa Rosa and everyone who was affected by the fire. Were you actively part of that? Going I was not. I, I do not participate in search and rescue operations during the season. Um, but I have friends and other members of my team were actively going up. How long have you been part of that? Almost two and a half years now. How did you get involved? I had a family friend um, who was a, a management member on the team, and it sounded like something I wanted to do. So. Yeah. Does it pull at you to not be able to be part of this? No. During the season, I'm 100% committed to cross country, and sometimes during a major disaster like this, I wish I could go up, but I know that this is what matters and this is what's important to me. So this is what I put first. So if, if it wasn't in season, what would your role have been during, during this disaster? Um, going through the uh, debris of the houses, um, literally sifting through for remains. Have, have, have you had conversations with yeah, other members? Yes. Like, like, to the yes. What can you, what can you, everyone, it's, it's a somber mood, you know, uh, not a lot of high schoolers get to do something like this and are exposed to this. Um, so everyone is, everyone on the team is very, uh, cognizant of the fact that it's some heavy stuff and everyone is supportive of each other and yeah. Um, is this something you want to do uh, as a profession? <sighs> it's something that I love doing. Um, it's a volunteer team, search and rescue, and I would love to continue volunteering but it's not something, I have, I have, I have other sites for what I want to do as far as a career. Can you elaborate on that? I have, I'm keeping my options open. I have a lot of stuff that I'm interested in. And, yeah. So, segue back onto the course today. Yep. <laughs> what is it like for you knowing, coming from that area, coming from that situation, knowing what people have told you, to just be out here and be able to run in this kind of environment, compete in this kind of environment? I think a lot of us, and I know sometimes I do, I think a lot of us take it for granted you know, the, the opportunity we have to compete and the privilege we have to compete. And, you know, this is what we love to do. And there's a lot of people right now who, you know, they're out of a home or they've lost loved ones. So it, it really is um, very moving to, to really know that we're so lucky to be able to come down and do this. So, the sports stuff. 
talk to me about the difficulty of the course yeah, and the, the, ch the challenges and, and how close you were with Kevin. Yeah. I like Mount Sac. I like the hills. I like being able to just, you know, put my head down and push up those hills. Um, and I think this year with the the changed with the changed finish line uh, and the the uh, false or the call back at the beginning, it was a little bit of a different mood than um, it has been the past two years here. But uh, I had a good time, and I love coming out and hitting the hills. What's it like finishing on what they're calling the airstrip? Yeah. Uh, the cement, the, the, uh, the concrete runway. Yeah. And, and, and there's no fans. It's, it's different. It's quiet. It's very quiet. Uh, I don't mind it. You know, I don't, I don't hear the cheers anyways. I'm all up in my head. So I think that <laughs> it's a very long kind of um, finish area. You know, you come around and you still have... 250, 300 meters to the finish, and it seems like a lot of people are just jogging it in. But I was able to, you know, put my head down and keep on going. Yeah. How's that time for you today? 14:51. I'm happy with it, especially with the three-mile course over the normal 2.93. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take it. I was happy. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about goals going forward on the course uh, for the rest of your season. On Mount Sac specifically? No, 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 no. Just on for the rest of your cross -season. Okay. Um, at Redwood, our, our sights are always set on state meet and postseason. Um, so I'm looking forward to coming out to state and making a good appearance there and then seeing what we do as far as uh, nationals. Yeah. What's it going to take for you to reach the goals that you want? Putting, putting in the work, knocking out the miles, just keeping on training hard. Are you guys able to train outside now? Yeah. We had, we had two days before coming down here that we were back outside. Um, and we had a little bit of rain yesterday, so it's clearing up and things are looking up. Thankfully for the rain. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure the firefighters were appreciative. appreciative. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Liam. Congratulations. Thank you, sir.